It's of course that time of the week again. Welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. With team of the season coming to a close, FIFACoinZone.com are starting a brand new thing on their site where they're doing top series packs. Make sure you go check them out and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off. If you want to be featured in the next episode, it's very simple on how you can get featured. All you have to do is take a HD screenshot from a capture device like an Elgato or your console. If you want to know how to take a screenshot from your console, links in the description for both uh, Xbox and PlayStation. Go check those out. Really detailed tutorials are very easy to follow uh, so you guys can find out. Now, once you've taken the screenshot, I want you to tweet it to me using the hashtag it's Haber and give me a description of your team. For example, who's tradable and untradable? How many coins have you got? Who are you looking to replace slash not replace? Like who is vital in your team that you never want to get rid of? And what do you play in game? Preferably two screenshots means the world. Uh, it makes it easier to visualize what you play in game. Uh, it just makes it easier in total, really. Um, so, of course, if you don't get featured in this episode, feel free to re-enter for the next one. Just keep posting them if you want. You can keep uh, posting your teams as many times as you want. I just go through and find teams every single Saturday night to, to, to put it into the next episode on the Sunday. So feel free to, to post it as many times as you want. Saturday's probably a really good time to post it. Uh, aside from that, just post it throughout the week whenever you want because I scroll down through loads and loads and loads of different teams to find the perfect ones for the video. If you couldn't already tell, for some reason I'm struggling to function today. I just cannot speak properly. Like My mouth is just not working right so i apologize for that in advance because it might have a lot of stuttering in this video i don't know why my mouth just doesn't want to talk properly but i wanted to quickly say before this uh video starts in in fruition should i say um we're very close to 100,000 subscribers we are literally about 11,000 subs away which might sound, seem like a lot but realistically i've had months where i've had like 10,000 subscribers in a single month like we could be very close to 100,000 subscribers, which is my all-time top goal for YouTube. Um, so every sub genuinely means the world. It just, you know, it, it, I really appreciate all the support on the channel and every subscriber, I very much appreciate that you're choosing to subscribe to the channel and get notifications on videos and stuff like that. It means the world and we're just getting very close to 100,000 subscribers. So I just want to thank you all for the support, basically. But without further ado, let's get into the teams now. I actually had a comment on the last video that said that I only show mega teams and I only show expensive teams. And I promise you that's not intentional. I've been scrolling through to find the most interesting looking teams to feature. Uh, a lot of special cards, stuff like that. And I do agree that... Majority teams I, I show are very expensive and are pretty much meta teams that don't need a whole lot of changes. So I thought I would work on that in this episode and show more budget teams and people that maybe don't have mega teams, uh, expensive teams, or maybe need the guidance actually from these videos. So I thought I'd show that in this episode. And I want to thank you for your input. I do appreciate it. And uh, I'll work more on the videos to kind of cater to your criticism. The first team submitted by Charlie. Charlie, of course, follows me on Twitter. It'd be really awkward one day if I just scroll over the name. They're just not following me. That would be hilarious. Anyway, uh, these are Charlie's teams. He had uh, 200,000 coins. Decore, Lenglet, Rabio are tradable. Thanks in advance. So this is what he starts in game. Uh, and then this is what he plays in game. Like he changes to this. He starts with a 4-3-3, changes to a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. And in principle, it's a nice team. You know, you've got the, the nice attack, but you've really got a horrible sort of midfield and, and part of your defense. It just... Like, it's like a big open hole that needs to be plugged with something meaningful. Okay, I don't know where I'm going with this. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But there are changes that definitely need need to be made. So, let's make them. Okay, you got 200,000 coins. Well, first of all, GG to you. You, uh, you took the initiative and actually won this card. Um, very intelligent play, I'd say. Uh, obviously, people that don't really have the best of teams... The objective cards are always fantastic to get. They're free um, and they are fantastic cards as well. So like I say, if you are in the same boat where you don't have as many coins, your team's not as good, go for these cards because these cards are very incredible cards that you can use that would be, you know, very helpful for your team. Now, in terms of changes that I would make, right here on this left center back spot, even when you're starting in game, you need yourself realistically someone that's French and someone that gets a link to Neto. First thing I'm thinking straight away, I don't think it's rocket science, is straight away Samuel Umtiti. Um, basically just a better version of Lenglet. Now, you could of course get the squad building challenge version. It's a nice card. It's got some very nice in-game stats and whatnot. 
but it's going to take you a while to grind towards this card. So for that time being, I would say get normal Umtiti and then work towards the better version of Umtiti. Now, of course, there are 81 to 86 SBC packs. There are 81 plus SBC packs. There are 82 plus SBC packs. That can be grinded towards to get the high rated players that you need. Or you could, of course, just do the league upgrade method. Now, what I would also do here is get the best version of Pogba you can. Even for CDM, he's very, very solid in the CDM spot. Um, I'm a big fan of Pogba in this game, and I would highly recommend him even as a CDM now. I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. He's got high-low work rates, but just trust me. As a very tall player, he just seems incredible at, at CDM. I used him a lot when I actually made my new account uh, at CDM. And he just seemed to play really well for me. And I was a big fan. In terms of Rabio, Rabio can stay there until you've got the coins to make a luxury upgrade, in my opinion. Um, he's not the best in the world to, to use there. However, when you don't have too many coins, you don't really have the luxury of upgrading to a very, very good player. So in my opinion, I would keep Rabio the same. Now, I know that you're getting the link to Alonso via David Silva. However, I would personally get rid of David Silva. Silver. Um, as a centre mid, I don't think he's that great in terms of his in-game stats. 78 stamina as a centre mid is just not good enough. And I know you've got a couple of subs here and there. Just don't think it's good enough. In terms of who I would put there, it's a tough one. Providing you have the coin balance, I think Angola Kante could be a great option for you there. And not only would that be a great option, but when you want to attack more, you can swap. Oops, you don't want to swap those two around. But when you want to attack more, you can swap these two around in-game and Pogba will push up the field more. Uh, so you've actually got some dexterity and ways to differentiate the team, in my opinion. Of course, he keeps the link to Alonso, so Alonso stays on full chemistry. They are the changes that I would personally make to your team with 200,000 coins. Now, you might be going a little bit over budget with these changes, but I don't think it'd be too much over budget where you can't actually make the changes. Maybe sell a few con contracts or consumables, uh, maybe sell a few fitness cards, stuff like that. Uh, it's a little bit of a grind process, but if you want to upgrade your team to a foot champs, standard team should i say it's probably worth it now i believe kimpembe and umtiti are both left footed so you might struggle a little bit there um in terms of both of them having three star weak foot it really won't make a difference who you play at which side so probably just keep it the way it is i'd say maybe if you if you feel a difference i'd swap those two around in game as well because obviously with a much better passing stat than umtiti um and the better dribbling stats you might find it better off being on his strong foot on the left hand side than having umtiti with much less dribbling and much less passing on the uh, on the strong left hand side as well that's just my opinion apart from that i think that your attack is actually really really nice this card is a card that i haven't tried this year but i've really really wanted to and i'd love to hear your opinion on this card I've been waiting for a team of the season upgrade pack for a very long time because I feel like he's the kind of player I would pack in that pack and probably enjoy using for the last couple of months of FIFA. So I'd love to hear your opinion on him because he looks insane in game. He just looks absolutely incredible. Apart from his balance, he looks unreal. And to talk about balance and agility, just look at Ronaldo, for example. Ronaldo has good agility and terrible balance in in relation, like his normal card, in relation to, to other players that have good agility and good balance. Uh, Ronaldo still plays incredibly in game, so... I don't think it's that much of a difference. I don't think it's that much of a, of a negative factor. So, so yeah, apart from that, nice team, bro. Let's move on to team number two. Now, it is from Danny Boy Don 1996 um, He does follow me on Twitter. Uh, he says, my tradables are Courtois, Varane, Jorginho, Barkley, Adias, and Higuain. He plays a 4-1-2 on two brackets two in game. So, the exact same team in game. And he has 8,000 coins to work with. I think things are going to be pretty tight with this team. However, I think there are a couple changes we can make to give you a better experience in game. Okay, so first of all, the first thing I noticed with this team is that you don't really have a very good cam. Aubameyang's not a cam. He's simply not. And neither are the two strikers that you have. Now, you did say that Aubameyang was, in fact, tradable. He only has a market value of about 30,000 coins, but that takes you up to maybe 40,000 coins. The next change I would do straight away, and I'll, I'll talk about the camera spot in a minute. The next change I would do is sell uh, Lucas Hernandez and get the brand new Mendy card that is in the objectives. Uh, this guy will be a fantastic left back for you in comparison. He actually looks really, really good in game, in my opinion. Very decent pace stat. He's tall in six foot one. That's very tall for a left back. Uh, great physical and defending stats as well. Um, I think you'll much more prefer him than uh, Hernandez there. I, that's what I personally say straight away as well. Now, in terms of what else I would do with the team, in your cam spot, you probably have, I don't know how much Lucas Hernandez is, but I know he's, uh, excuse me, quite a lot, about 12,000. So you've got about 50,000 coins to spend for this cam spot. In terms of Premier League cams, for 50,000 coins, you might be a little bit limited um, in terms of going through them now. You might be able to get James Madison. Um, you know, you might be able to get De Feyu. Whichever one realistically speaks out to you, I would go for a natural cam or centre forward though. I wouldn't go for a striker. You want to go with someone in terms of formula that has very decent passing stats and decent uh, dribbling stats. 
because passing and dribbling is vital when I can. So maybe go with a version of Ericsson you can afford. I don't know how much these versions of Ericsson are, but I know plays are very cheap right now. Um, so that, that, that version of Ericsson is a little bit too expensive for you. However, um, I'm sure you can get either his normal card or his maybe inform card if he has one. I'm not entirely sure if he does have one or not. But I would recommend going for a good version of Ericsson if you can. Um, if not, just go for his normal card. Maybe go with that team of season Madison as well if you can afford that. Uh, aside from that, I think your team's pretty strong to be fair. Golden might be a bit of a liability for you as well. If you can possibly upgrade to uh, Samuel Umtiti maybe in the future as well. Um, and obviously, given your, your budget, you can't upgrade Barkley at the minute. But then I think the next thing to do is upgrade Barkley. Um, I don't know who you could upgrade him with realistically in a budget. You'd have to tell me your budget there and then. But I would personally say maybe swapping over Kante and Barkley and then getting a better CDM for your team. Maybe a Paul Pogba or someone like that will probably be beneficial. Aside from that, I think that in terms of like a road glory, I think you're looking all right. This card is ridiculously cheap. This card is like 30,000 coins. I don't understand why or how he's got to that cheap of a price, but... This card is very, very cheap, and it's actually a decent card looking, like, it looks like a decent card in game, so I imagine he plays quite well for you. I would, yeah, just say get Mendy, he looks like a god tier left back, and then get rid of Aubameyang, maybe even swap over those two. I think Aubameyang would probably be better at a striker for you than Higuain was, and get yourself an Ericsson at Cam. Uh, aside from that, nice team, dude, uh, and uh, let's go on to the next one. The next team is from It's Amar. Uh, he says, this is my team, everyone, sorry, let me just prove to you that he's following me. Uh, this is my team, everyone except Marcus Alonso in the starting 11 is tradable, he uses a 4-4-1-1 in game, and he has 20,000 coins, so he starts with this, um, obviously it's just like a standard BPL team. He starts with Firmino off chemistry though. I would start in the 4-3-3-4 because you actually get the cam and the two center mids and Firmino will then be on nine chemistry uh, given a manager that gets the link with him. Uh, and then he goes to this in game. So like I said, yeah, I, I personally... Um, if you're using 4-4-1-1 in game, I mean, you could literally just start with a 4-4-1-1 in game. You don't even need to start with a 4-3-3. You could start with a 4-4-1-1 in game and everyone gets full chemistry. Um, even Ozil gets full chemistry there. So I'd, I'd personally just stay in the 4-4-1-1 if I were you. In terms of your team, though, it's incredibly attacking. I would personally recommend that you uh, get rid of Ozil straight away. Ozil in this game, 69 stamina, 48 jumping, 57 strength, 48 aggression, 24 defending as a centre mid will be terrible. Bin him off straight away. There's no need for him. I would personally get rid of him straight away. Uh, I would then look on your 20,000 coin price budget. I would then work in a Fabinho. Even his normal 85 card is still decent at this st stage in the game. I would work on uh, work on getting in Fabinho. I would then get rid of Company. I think Company is the same. I just think he's just not good enough at this point in the game at all. I'd then work on maybe just getting a better BPL center back. I don't know how much 85 Van Dyke is. Um, but if you can afford 85 Van Dyke, I'd go for him. If not, then I'd probably work in maybe uh, Davidson Sanchez, for example. Um, maybe a Tarkovsky. I know that this guy doesn't have the best pace, but he's got very decent uh, physical stats to make up for it. Um, and I think that he'd probably be a decent centre-back. But yeah, probably Davidson Sanchez is your best bet uh, to get in at that centre-back spot. Uh, unfortunately, you're in that void where you don't have a whole lot of coins to work with, but just grind out some foot champs, grind out some rivals. Any uh, any play you can get from foot champs rewards, even if you get gold three, gold two, or even if you get like silver one, if you can get yourself a team of the season player, it will already make a big difference to your squad, even if you're just starting him on the bench. I know you've got a load of loans on your bench, so if you can get yourself a red team of the season player, even if it's someone that isn't great, like uh, who's a good example? I don't know, maybe it's like a, a Liga Nos player, you know? Even if it's someone like that, like a Felipe or something, at least you've got like a good centre-back to, to bring off the bench um, or you just have a decent super sub or a decent player if you get luck and get a Premier League player to play in your team. That, that's personally what I would do with your team. Um, it's interesting, though, that people still have these teams at this stage in FIFA. I, I'm interested to hear if maybe you've just started playing the game or if you just haven't played the game throughout the year and you just picked it back up again. I'm not entirely sure, um, but just keep grinding, bro. I think foot champs are definitely the way to go. I feel bad uh, like recommending people to play foot jumps. However, the reward system, especially early on, is fantastic and definitely worth the grind. Team number four for this episode is from Fred. Fred on Twitter says, Hey, my intradibles are Roussillon, uh, Fekir, Dembele, Envia, Atal, Iniesta, Torres. My budget is 200 
thousand coins and this is the team that he plays i would presume he plays similar in game i would maybe say that dembele plays up top he didn't give me much of a uh, any insight actually as to what he does in game but that would be my guess is that he probably switches iniesta and dembele in game but we're gonna give him advice based on what he sent me because i don't know the full story on his situation but this is his team obviously that he sent me so you're saying obviously i well, i've just said obviously four times do not do not say obviously counter in the in the comments all right chill <laughs> um but you've got the spc players of course untradeable so it is his entire midfield um and his attack did they say diego costa is untradeable um okay diego costa is not untradeable so the first thing i would do straight away uh get rid of this diego costa card how is he going for on the market right now He's about 40,000 coins. So you're up to about 240k in terms of how many coins you have. The next thing I would personally do in terms of your team, I wouldn't really mess too much with your back line. I would probably get Varane, but that's about it. I'd swap out Laporte for Varane. Uh, you'd be left with about 240-ish thousand, uh, sorry, 220-ish thousand coins uh, left over. And then in game, I would push up uh, Dembele to striker because you don't need another striker in Diego Costa. You can literally just bring in Dembele at striker and you have this strike force. Um, and in terms of what gets chemistry for you at the start, you want either a French or Spanish player. You could possibly even work in an icon if you can afford to grind towards an icon. Uh, I would maybe just go with uh, a Spanish player here. Um, in terms of Spanish midfielders, I am actually not too clued in into Spanish midfielders this year. I haven't used too many Spanish midfielders, but within like looking at them straight away, you've got the likes of Thiago. This card would probably be a really decent centre mid, actually. In fact, I have used this card, and he's a decent centre mid. Uh, if you can afford Thiago, bring him in. If not, maybe Fabian, he'd be a decent centre mid. Um, of course, Scream Busquets, if you can afford him, he'd be a great centre mid as well. I would personally just work on getting in a decent centre midfielder that's Spanish. Uh, into your team that's probably the next step for you um and then playing them at left center mid and playing uh musa Nabele at striker in game you can obviously just change that via custom tactics apart from that in game maybe you want to swap those over because obviously left footed on the left and right footed on the right aside from that it's a very very nice team for uh maybe a beginner or someone that's just not been playing as much uh this card in game is fantastic i'm a big fan of this card uh, i really like that card indeed um and yeah it's just a nice team all around the final team for this episode is from callum on twitter who of course follows me on twitter he says everyone isn't tradable except lafont and gulam my budget is 200,000 coins and this is it in game thank you very much now i presume that you start exactly the same as you play in game because everyone apart from Overmars is on chemistry there and uh and fair enough if you do start like that that is what i would expect or guess um so he said everyone isn't tradable except lafont and gulam 200,000 coin budget okay you haven't got too many coins to work with there um let's see what we can do with this team so in terms of the team I first of all straight away would say that this guy is not a CDM. I would put him at left centre mid and bring off Overmars. I think Overmars would be a fantastic super sub. Now, upon looking at who you have on the bench, if we want to quickly go back to that screen to see who he's got on the bench, he's got some very, very nice plays. He's got that footies Mendy, which I would say is a definite bring on the pitch. Definitely bring on the pitch. Even if, if you have to relinquish Koulibaly, I would bring Mendy onto the pitch and uh, and and sell that Gulam. don't know how much Gulam sells for, but I would sell Gulam and I would bring on Mendy straight away. Um, I think you benefit way more from having Mendy on the pitch as opposed to not having him on the pitch. I've actually been thinking about this for a little while and thinking what you can do with the team. And I think this is probably the best solution for you right now. Um, what I would personally do if I were you straight away, obviously, I'd, like I said, bring Mendy on. I'd then probably go for this uh, squabble and challenge uh, Umtiti. As you know, you can get him through uh, unlocking him via the um via the league sbc i then get your flashback vidal that you have on the bench and play him at cdm he's a much better cdm than sadorf and he'll hold down the midfield very well for you he will be playing on eight chemistry with the manager you'll need either a chilean or a la liga manager to get him on eight chemistry but he will be playing on eight chem i think eight chem is very good i don't think that you'll struggle with eight chem obviously you're playing musha on eight chem as well so you already knew that and you were playing uh over mars on seven chem so you already know that chemistry isn't that big of a deal uh, on fifa these days so i would personally bring on vidal uh, and that's probably how I'd keep your team. Um, very interesting that I've suggested him to eat twice in this episode. However, I think he's a very good cheap centre back for the price. Um, and of course, you'll get packs back for doing the SBC. With 200,000 coins, you should be able to do the SBC and get some decent rewards back from the packs and hopefully make a bit of profit as well. Um, so that's what I'd do if I were you. I would bring on that Vidal. And I think that this team is definitely a big improvement for the team you had before. Then, of course, you have uh, Overmars to maybe even submit into an icon SBC if you want. Just get a 300k pack. 
If not, of course, you can just go ahead and uh, and and go ahead and do the league SPC or whatever, uh, whatever floats your boat, really, whatever you like to do. Um, I see that you've also got Podolski, Pato, Werner, uh, Dumfries, and Schultz on the bench, so you've got a pretty decent bench. Um, so yeah, that's personally just what I'd do if I were you. I, I, I'd, I'd change the team in that way. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, hopefully, I haven't stuttered too much or just kind of slurred my words a little bit. It is like 5 a.m. when recording this. I've got a horrible sleeping pattern. I don't even want to hear about it, all right? Stop being my dad in the comments, okay? Just stop. I'm joking. Uh, but no, thank you very much for the support on these, on, these, uh, on these videos. I have an idea for a brand new little series I want to do on the channel alongside this where I build people's squads. Now, I know... I'm not going to say more about it yet, but I just have a cool idea and I'll keep you guys informed with it and uh, you guys will find out how to be a part of that as well. Um, but just keep submitting your teams for this. I'll, of course, be doing one every week um, and maybe even twice a week as we move into the slower parts of FIFA and move towards FIFA 20 because I will be bringing you guys videos for FIFA 20, I rate your teams videos before FIFA 20 is even out. I want to rate your guys' starter squads and ideas for starter squads and stuff like that. So... Got some cool ideas in the old uh, in the old brain up there. Uh, but thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you lads. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you lads. And don't forget to like. And I'll see you lads later.